All right, so why would you study for the CCNA today? What is the value? What, 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 what do you get from the CCNA? How is it so important? Uh, first of all, um, Cisco is a reference in the networking industry, okay? I'm gonna give you some links, you can read the story and everything, but Cisco today is the reference. When you know Cisco, you know pretty much everybody else. Because allegedly, they are the inventors of, I don't know, the routers, or yeah, they invented the router. So that's, that's what they say, I'm not sure, I don't know about it, that's not a, up to discussion. But they are a reference today, because when you master Cisco technology, when you are Cisco certified, you know just enough to work on pretty much any kind of vendor or any kind of devices. So you are universal, you know a lot of things, you master networking, you know how to configure Cisco devices, but you are going to find your way around any other vendor out there. That's why Cisco is the reference. And getting the CCNA today can do a lot for you. It can help you start or you know grow your career with or without a college degree. That's something very important. Certification now is almost as important as a degree, as a four-year degree. So I have none. I've known people that have no degree at all, but they are just good at what they're doing because companies now understand that knowledge, it's not in, in college anymore. You don't have to do four years of college to be knowledgeable in something. You can certify yourself. You can take a quick class online and just sit down in your basement, do a bunch of labs, and just become good in whatever you want, in, in programming, in, you know, name it. You can do all of that without, without going to school. Um, I'm not hitting on school here, but I'm just telling you that if you didn't have a chance to go to school, you can still earn good money, you can still have a good career just based on the exams or the certifications or just the knowledge in general that you're doing. So with Cisco, you learn computer networking in depth and you start a career. I know a story um, that I watched on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you know Eli, the computer guy. When he was doing his um, interview uh, series with INE, uh, he was talking to a guy who was a bartender. The guy was a bartender, and one day at night, it was really slow at the bar. Um, he started talking to one of his customers. Uh, so he's like, hey, what do, you, what do you do in life? The guy was like, yeah, I'm a network engineer. And uh, the, the, the bartender was like, yeah, how did you... How did, how did you become a network engineer? What can I do to become a network engineer? And he just showed him. He, he was the kind of cool guy who's not trying to pretend to be special, just like me, because th that's why I'm sitting here. My, my, my philosophy is that if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm not special. I, I, don't, I don't have like special skills. I wasn't born uh, a genius. Like I'm just like you, just a regular dude. Uh, I do dumb stuff all the time. So I'm just a regular person. So if, you, if I can do it, you can do it. So that, that's what he said. The, the network engineer told the bartender, he was like, yeah, this is what you have to do. This is your road to become a network engineer. You can do this cert, you can do this exam, read this and that. He gave him basically just the CCNA and all, all the other stuff. So when the guy who was a bartender was talking to Eli, the computer guy, that was, I think it was around four years later. And the guy was a senior engineers of something at Cisco. You see how his life changed. I'm not saying working as a bartender is bad, some people enjoy it, but if you have ambitions to become a network engineer, you can go from anywhere to becoming an engineer. And that's, that's something that's very doable. So with the CCNA, you learn computer networking and you build a career. You also acquire knowledge to get a better position or a better pay or higher pay. The CCNA pays well, in general. Um, I have a course here on KB Trainings where, uh, in which I show you, I give you five reasons why you should consider starting a career in the IT today. So one of those five reasons was the money. The IT, um, the IT industry in general pays well. And the CCNA particularly, for someone who's trying to get in the industry, with a CCNA, you can get a good position. Um, it's not an entry-level certification though, but with a lot of work, a lot of dedication, you can go, you can bring yourself from a certain entry-level position to becoming an engineer, I mean, very quickly. 
and um, yeah, that's something that's something to consider. Let's let's take for example. Uh, I'm going to search. I live in Denver right now, so let me search for the average CCNA salary in Denver. This is what it is, almost 73k, and that's the average. That's the average you can get if you get a job with a CCNA as a network engineer or you know an entry level network engineer or something like that. And if you are a guy like me, if you are always above the average, you will definitely get way more than this with the CCNA. When I when I got my first certifications and started in AIT, I literally just tripled my income. So I went from 25 K to 70 something because that was something that I wanted and I saw the change right away and it was just awesome to me that's when I was like wow I cracked the code now all I have to do is just know more and more and get paid for my knowledge and that's how I started learning all these things and you know bringing my life all around networking of course I enjoy it and I hope by the end of this you're going to enjoy it too if that's who you want to be um, so to give you an idea, I'm talking about the U.S. Um, economy here, but I'm from Africa. I know people from the Congo. I know people that are, I have friends in Europe, in India and so on. They still make good money depending on the economy they are in. They still do well compared to other people. So if you have a CCNA, you have value to provide to employers, to provide to your clients, and you're going to be rewarded for it. Uh, let me just give you an idea. Um, Let's see what's the average salary in America. Yep, so the average salary in America is 56K. But if you have the CCNA, you make 73K average, of course. If you are above the average, if you are an overachiever, you do way more than that. And the 56K is per household, which means that you know it's a whole household pop mom maybe the kids but you make 56k average and that's something to have in mind when you're studying for this it will keep you motivated it will keep you focused whatever you're doing now you're like okay i need this money i need this money by next year this is what i want to to what i want to earn next year so you will never be distracted if you think like that and also the CCM will help you have an understanding of computer networking um, to better do your job. You may be a manager, you may be a developer or, you know, any, any kind of industry. If you are interacting a lot with networking people and you just want to be good at networking, uh, the CCNA is the way for you to go. You might not pass the exam if you don't want to, but you will still have the knowledge and the understanding. So that's all for this lesson, guys. This is the value that the CCNA brings to you. It's, it's a good certification to have. And what I like about certification is that it's being updated very often to match what the industry needs, to match what the market is. So that's why when you get certified, you know that these skills that I have now are valuable in this current economy. You don't learn from Relay or something very old. You learn new things Cisco DNA Center, uh, you know, JSON, Ansible. You learn things that are being used right now in, uh, you know, in the world of, uh, of, uh, of the IT and you just go out there and make some good money. That's all for this lesson. I'll see you in the next uh, lesson in which we're going to talk about the exam blueprint. Just a quickly, uh, quick rundown of the exam blueprint and tell you exactly what's inside. Uh, I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.